Alrighty, in this little method here, a little technique and stuff I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the difference between chain link and hinge cuffs, okay? With chain link, your keys can end up in different locations, meaning key opening. It's on the same side, but when you're down on the ground wrestling around with somebody, the uh, every little second counts. He can grab a knife, he can chew you, he can do something else. So when you're wrestling around with them, you want to cuff them as fast as you can. Now this is just to show you a little difference, right? You can make up your own mind. I don't sell the cuffs, I just suggest what I would use. Okay, that's on. Now this can still swing around. Now without me doing anything, they're semi, semi tight, not too much. Raise your hand, okay. Go slow circle, okay, circle again. Supported, pull, circle, okay, good. Now, now if you watch, I'm twisting. Pull hard, you okay? All right. That's one. Now I'm gonna show you the difference, okay? And you've probably seen in some other videos how fast I can cuff with hinges because you get used to it and the keys are always in the same position when you load your cuffs properly, okay? Put these down for a sec, all right? Now, here's the difference with the hinge. I take it, cuff's on. I got them in a technique already, all right? Now we're just gonna go with this. Raise your arm, raise your arm. I turn it one way, I turn it the other way. You can see the difference. It's great for techniques if you know how mechanics work. Pull, it hurts, okay? I tweak him, I move him, I use my hand to hold his hand, and now if I wanted to, I could drop him to his knees, okay? Because this really hurts. I'm not hitting him, I'm just using the cuffs and the mechanics of the cuffs. Hinge cuffs to me are awesome, all right? They can save your life. That's all.